Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Shusham. Today we are going to show you how to install the PF Sense. And before starting, if you are new into my channel, then don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. See so you never miss out on future tutorials and any tips or any troubleshooting or video. So let's start uh, with the PF Sense. So let let me show you something uh, why we are uh, using the pfSense so pfSense is basically uh, a open source firewall okay there are a lot of uh, firewalls are there in market paid and open source so I love uh, the pfSense firewall uh, there, this, there is a two version also available where you can get the support and the, the advanced level like content filtering and everything in the pfSense and the basic level of firewall which can as like routing as like fail to ban also i hope you know about the fail to ban service you you will get this services uh, by the way in free so let me show you something so let's assume you have a server okay and there are two ethernet port one is external and another one is internal as like this the external one external from ISP you will get this one and you have to put the link into this uh, maybe Ethernet 0 and here is the Ethernet 1 and this is the internal or the private IP okay let's assume this external ISP IP is 103 to 11 26.8 okay and the internal IP is 192.168.1.1 so what you have to do first you have to install the pfSense this is the pfSense one and these are the small PC or the user PC or the laptop so whenever you have installed the pfSense the first thing you have to do you have to put the gateway to this user PC you have to define the gateway to the 192.168.1.1 that all the all the traffic will go first into the firewall and then it will be passed to the external network and if you have a server you might be you have a server in house I'm taking this one for the server this is the server same thing you have to do the gateway should be 1.1 and whenever you want to publish your server you have to make the routing in into the PFSS and then you know the, it might be port number 80 or 22 whatever you are using the port number if there is ms sql or you know the the http or https so you have to open the the port and you have to forward the port to the this server then only the publicly it can used by anyone so this is the firewalls so now let's start with the how to install this pfSense so i have already mount the iso file first it will come with the notice from the distribution you have to accept it then you have to install and then you can go with the continue it's very easy uh, in installation and there's the auto and you have to wait for few minutes so I'm going to just now going to select the no here and then it will ask for the reboot so after booting up you will find uh, it will ask automatically do you have any VLAN or not so if you have a VLAN then you have to put the VLAN IDs and everything in my case I don't have any VLAN and this is just a testing server so I have only single LAN uh, so let me show you how to configure that one I don't have any VLAN let me put no so whenever you have two interface uh, of the Ethernet so what it will happen it will ask for first LAN and then you have to put the WAN okay so here uh, it, it is asking me for the WAN because I have only one interface uh, for the you know uh, training videos so I'm putting here my Ethernet. So uh, uh, it is asking enter the LAN interface name. I don't have any, so that is the reason I am just hitting enter. 
if you have then you have to put so now I'm going to proceed okay so in this section we are going to set up the IP for our PS cells uh, so enter an option should be 2 to set the interface IP address and DHCP uh, uh, WAN interface it should be an N and now we are going to enter the WAN IP for address it's 104, 168, 145, 231 and then I'm setting the subnet it's 24 uh, for your case it should be different and uh, now I'm setting up the LAN IP address for my PF sense then again IPv6 DHCP should be N and this, this one should also be N now do you want to revert to HTTP it should be yes and it will generate the IP address so here is my login I have already set my username and password uh, whenever you are uh, logging into the first time so it will ask the username and password you have to put admin as a username and pfsense as a password then it will ask to change the password so I have done this uh, job already before so let me put my password okay so here is my dashboard let me show you a few things you can change here the TCP port number also as now we are using the port number 80 if you want to change the port number to any other port number okay so you can change it so here is the one more thing enter the number of the web configurator process it will show uh, the, the the access for the the maximum process how many process are going to show you so we have already put the DNS also here and the domain name here is a firewall and NAT setup so I have already shown you how to set up the LAN and WAN into from the console whenever you are doing the NAT and uh, you know the whenever you're doing the Ethernet 0 or Ethernet 1 might be if you have a multiple ISP then you have to put the multiple Ethernet uh, port obviously so then it will uh, automatically create the NAT setup Here's a VPN also there. Uh, if you want to create the VPN uh, with the web open VPN, there is a wizard. It's a very easy process. Okay, so you can put the VPN. So basically, SSL VPN are using uh, for the for the user login, and IPsec is for the site to site. So you can uh, put uh, you can create the both site to send uh, site to site as well as your uh, SSL VPN also so SSL VPN are using the whenever any remote uh, user as like uh, you know a roaming user whenever they are want to logged in into your internal server so it will always best way to you know put the VPN for the security so it's never exposed directly the server whenever they need they will log in into the VPN then they will access the server the firewall setup also there there are few services are there even there is a DSCP server also as like you know firewall normal firewall or the router even you know, even the the small level router has also DSCP server so it will uh, you know you don't need any router or anything you can put just firewall uh, the PFS firewall and you can do anything as like you know the, the normal better than the normal router obviously because they are inbuilt the firewall uh, feature set If you have to diagnose anything then you can put the diagonals and here you uh, if I'm going to put the PF top then you can check the how many you know services are running and what are the you know packets and bytes so you can check check the how many you know um, the, the traffic are passing so PF info You can do the backup and restore from here also. You can take the backup and you can restore the backup. See here is the, the backup configuration and here is the restore configuration. So the all the uh, always uh, remember the the configuration are uh, in backup in XML. Here you can check the routing table. 
so i think that's all for the basic level of the the installation and a few uh, how to put the ip address and everything uh, for the lan and wan uh, once you have installed i think it it will easy to identify what are the service you need and everything and in the next video we hope we are going to share you the few advanced level like how to create the vpn how to doing the firewall setting uh, i hope you like this video and thank you for watching our video uh, if you like this video please hit the like button and if you have any queries or any questions about this please uh, let me know uh, we are there in the skype as well as the email